Hi everybody, James Hutchison here, Director of Instruction at Mississauga Golf and Country Club. I'm back with another tip for you to get better while you're hanging out in the house. Uh, so this one's a chipping tip actually, and it's just going to be a short little chip, but I'm going to help you try to take away those uh, chunks and skulls when you're chipping. So the main reason we're going to hit it fat or thin when we're chipping is because we're changing the distance between our hands and our chest. If that distance changes, obviously if I bring them closer, the club gets further from the ground and I'm likely going to hit it thin. If I extend my scapula or I reach or I change my posture, then my hands are getting further from my chest and I'm likely gonna hit fat. So all I want you to do while you're down in your basement or you're out in your backyard chipping is really get a sense of having long straight arms when you set up and then just make these little kind of putting stroke style swings making sure you keep those arms long and you just kind of rotate with your chest a little bit. So you can see that my backswing, impact, and my through swing, my hands are always the same distance away from my chest. Okay, so it should look a little like this. We're just gonna hit a little chip shot, hit it nice and crisp, oh, goes in the hole. So hopefully that helps you um, and you should get a little crisper contact when we get outside. So one of the biggest things I see a lot of uh, poor chippers do is that when they take this club away this right arm or the trail arm will bend Really early on like that. Okay, so from here if I want to hit the ball I've got to extend that trail arm at the exact same rate. I bent it on the way back It's really hard to do right so you get a lot of people either they don't do it enough and they thin it or they do it too much and They kind of throw the club and then they chunk it or they've got to kind of figure it out on this side and try to bend that elbow equal to the amount they bend this out it's a lot of moving parts, right? So instead of that, let's just think about coming together. See, both my arms are still long, right? I haven't bent this elbow in. Obviously, as the swing gets longer, that trail elbow is going to bend a bit. But for a short chip shot like this, we can really ensure crisp contact if we just keep both arms long going back, both arms long going through. It'll help you bottom out the same spot every time. Give it a try.